two, one two, one two, one two. Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you've all had an instructive first day at the conference here in Bracing Skegness. You can't beat that sea air, can you? <laughs> now, uh, we've got a great evening of entertainment lined up for you, so without further ado, welcome on stage. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, that's okay. I was just preparing for tonight. I'm Ted. I'm acting as the compere. Paul. First time at one of these get-togethers? Yeah, um, yeah. Lovely venue, this. By the sea. Ah, it is. But it reminds me not to try and not end up like some of the men who stay here. <laughs> Lungs full of coal dust and all before their time. A cigarette? Oh, no, ta. <laughs> oh, by heck, that's better. Uh, trying to give up then, eh? No, I never started, actually. So you know the programme for the weekend? Yeah. Ah, it will be all the usual safety standard nonsense, but there's some good entertainment laid on for tonight. Like what? Well, there's a singer and a stripper. That's two separate acts, mind you. A stripper? Hey, hey, that green lad. <laughs> Never seen one before. <laughs> ah, well, you're in for a treat. Yeah, I'd guess so. I'm doing a bit of a routine, like, and I think someone's agreed to be an Elvis impersonator and mime to a song. Yeah, that's me. Really? Oh. Oh, yes, well, anyway, uh, we've got the conference stuff to get through first today, so I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, sorry. I think I must be in the wrong room. Well, not unless you're here for the miners' conference. The what? Oh, there's a load of coal mining industry reps here this weekend for a conference. No, I'm certainly not here for that. No, I didn't think so somehow. There's not many women in mining work. Well, not on the coal face anyway. Maybe there should be. Well, I wouldn't stop them. Most of my colleagues would, though. What are you here for, then? I'm attending the WLM conference. Women's Liberation Movement. Oh, right, I see. So, what will you be discussing then that you think you need liberation from? Just the domination of men in most aspects of life in this country and the promotion of equal rights for women. Oh, good luck with it then. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I, I meant what I said. Hello, Diana. Oh, hello. Harriet, isn't it? Yes. Well remembered. How could I forget you from Oxford? Do you think all our demands will be passed? What were they all again? Um, equal pay, equal educational and job opportunities... Um... Free contraception and abortion on demand. And free 24-hour nurseries. Can I ask something? Of course. Why are we holding the second conference here in Skegness? Is there any reason why we should No, no, of course not. It's just that it seems so... Well, I'm not sure how to put it without sounding... <laughs> Are you trying to say that even in 1971 it's more behind the times than the rest of the country? All the more reason to hold a conference here. What's behind the rest of the country? This town is. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I live here. I'm Janet, by the way. So were you attending the conference? Yeah. I heard about the one in Oxford and wanted to find out more. Well, you're most welcome. What is this building we're holding it in exactly? It's the Derbyshire's Miners Holiday Home, where miners can come for a rest and plenty of fresh sea air. I should think they need it after all that time working underground. Actually, there's another reason I'm here. Oh? How's that then? I was asked to sing here this evening. I didn't know what for until today, though. You sing? Well, I dabble. I'm sure you're being modest. Anyway, I just found out that there's a coal mining delegation here this weekend. I reckon I must have been booked for that. A coal miners delegation meeting going on at the same time? Now, that is interesting. It will be. If it's anything like the last conference gig I was booked for. Why is that? The last act of the evening is usually a stripper.
Give it up, please, for Mr. Paul Fenton's rendition of Suspicious Minds there. Suspicious Minds, thank you. Thank you. Now, now I wouldn't say my wife is fat, but everyone else would. Hey, hey. Here, when, when she asks me, does my bum look big in this, I have to say it depends on how big this is. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, right, now, hey, here, yeah, here's one, here's one. Do you know, if you rearrange the words in mother-in-law, it spells woman Hitler? <laughs> no, 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 it does, it does. Yeah. There's a fella down here trying to work it out. <laughs> no, trust me, mate, it does, it does, it does. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have some, uh, some hecklers here, gentlemen. Uh, must have touched a nerve. <laughs> Do you know what, my, my mother-in-law, you like this one, my, my mother-in-law has got a lot in common with Hitler, and it's not just the moustache either, hey, now, do you know, and whenever she comes out the back, I hold the towel like this, you see, and you won't believe what she comes out with. Yes, well, as you know, as you know, I calm down, as you know, we've got a great act coming up later tonight, here, here. You know, someone once said to me, you like this, someone once said to me that watching a strip act is a bit like sex. A bit like sex. I said, how do you mean? He said, well, it's all about the anticipation, isn't it? It's the build-up to the final reveal, but it's often a short-lived, disappointed finale. <laughs> you speak for yourself, mate. Yeah, who said that? Aye, yeah, well, yeah, keep your noise down. Anyway, anyway, I think our, I think our singer is uh, ready now, so please welcome on stage Miss Janet Rose. This is an act designed to promote male fantasies and will no longer be tolerated. No woman needs to do this, and we won't let you. Get your hands off me! That's a Get off the stage, love. You're not too on yet. Someone played the music at the wrong time. Stop the music, will you? Take your hands off her. Yeah, I will do once she's off stage and we can start. Hey, what happened? Did I miss my cue? No, no, no. It's, it's all a misunderstanding. They thought the next act, the singer was the stripper and tried to stop it. What for? You shouldn't have to take your clothes off for their entertainment. What I choose to do with my own body is up to me. Ah, uh, you tell them, love. Now, will you all just get off the stage? Hey, look, there's no need to be so rough with them. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Come on, let's go. You'll not stop them from getting what they want. Not this time, anyway. You're not staying, then? No. And I never was. Not you, the singer. No, I'm not. You can stuff it. What's your problem, eh? A striptease act never hurt anyone. Men like you are the problem. Oh, <laughs> if you say so, love. These women are right. You are a sexist, outdated dinosaur. Will you all just shut up right now if you'd all just leave the stage so we can finish the show with the highlight? Well, I don't know what you see in it. What are you on about? What is it in the end, eh? A load of dirty old men ogling a woman taking her clothes off. Ah, it's just a bit of innocent fun. Well, would you want your wife or daughters doing it? <sighs> Look, you better leave, aren't you? Go on. It's all right. I'm going. It'll probably be like your sex life anyway. All anticipation and then over in five minutes. Yeah, you little... Here, you come back here. Yo, oh, heck, the music. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I give you Miss... Oh, she's already here. <laughs> oh, flaming heck. Look, look, please, please bear with us, gentlemen. There's just been a power cut, that's all. It's there in the fourth this week. So don't, no, don't leave. Don't leave. I'm, I'm sure we'll be, all be sorted out very soon, won't it? A Minor Liberation by Benjamin Peel. Ted was played by John Hewer. Paul by Stacy Goff. Janet by Lucy Sherry Cooper. Harriet by Sarah Beasley. Diana by Nikki Felstead. Stripper by Katie Leonard. Audio production by Jack Pudsey and directed by Sarah Beasley. Produced for Sofa Festival 2020 by Sarah Beasley and Jack Pudsey for Breakwater Theatre Company. Mm -hmm.